Should I raise my hands when I pass the Rukun Yaman? This is about istilam of Rukun Yamani. And istilam, in the case of the Hajar Aswad, is kissing the Hajar Aswad. In its original form, it's kissing the Hajar Aswad, the black stone. And then the istilam of the Rukun Yamani is uh, touching it with, with your hand, right? Now, okay, so the Rukun Yamani basically is the corner before the Hajar Aswad as you come around in your tawaf. So if, if you count after the Hajar Aswad, if you count one, two, three, um, and the Hajar Aswad is the fourth in your tawaf, then the Rukun Yamani is the third one. When you pass it, you'll see people doing lots of different things. Some people will, not as many people as Hajar Aswad, but a few people will be jostling to touch it, and a lot of people will, will indicate to it. Right? And that's why the question arises, should I be doing it? So, in the Hanafi Madhab, and in other schools as well, there is no, there is no foundation, i.e. there's no evidence for raising the hand and indicating, as there is, according to many ulama, for, for the Hajar Aswad. I mean, there's some difference of opinion about that as well. Some ulama say you don't raise your hands if you can't, if you can't actually touch it with your hand or touch it with a stick, right? Um, uh, however, it's, you know, it's fine to raise your hand um, and do Islam of Hajar Aswad when you say, you know, uh, Bismillah Allahu Akbar. When you pass Rukun Yamani, the ruling is that if you can touch it with your right hand, don't jostle for it, but it is theoretically possible, um, then you can do uh, then you can do the istilam. Otherwise, you don't. Now, the problem with this, and I would say, look, I, I, I would suggest that if you see people kind of jostling for it and so on, avoid it for the simple reason that most of the times there's perfume on there. So avoid it when you're in ihram. All right? It, this is a complication. I don't know why they do that and, you know, you end up with perfume all over the Kaaba, but... This is something that you have to be uh, careful about. Usually, the the rukun yamani is is uh, is exposed, and you you want you won't have time to check or anything like that. And there will be there's always a crowd. All right, so just be mindful of that. Um, if you so the ruling is that if you cannot touch it with your right hand and do istilam in that way, right, then you don't do anything. You don't indicate or anything like that, right, and you just keep walking around. You would have passed that corner. The next corner will be Hajar Aswad. And just focus on remembering that after the last corner, there's a sunnah dua to recite, which is Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirah hasana wa qina adhab al And then basically you're, you, you finish th that round and you start the next round again at Hajar Aswad. So don't indicate at Rukin Yamani is the simple and the long and short of it, basically. Follow us and subscribe now on all things Hajj and Umrah.